Mm-hmm. Viva la vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer. This is part of our series that we do here every Tuesday on our YouTube channel. Make sure you've subscribed. This week's question is, is soy good or bad? There's a lot of misinformation floating around about soy and I find that when you track the sources back, whether um, it's an article online for example, you'll find that it's not surprising to see many vested interests popping up. Registered dietitian Jack Norris, he has a wealth of information on his veganhealth.org website as he does on jacknorrisrd.com. I took most of my information from his really in-depth article entitled Soy, What's the Harm? Please read this whether you're vegan or not to understand soy a lot better. Soy has many benefits including reducing the risk of breast cancer, preventing prostate cancer, lowering LDL cholesterol and improving menopausal symptoms. Moderate consumption of traditional soy foods, whether fermented or not, includes one to two servings per day. One serving equals one cup of soy milk or half a cup of tofu, tempeh, soybeans or soy meats. I think you'll find that's quite easy to achieve. Jack Norris says that the main cause of the controversy surrounding soy is related to the isoflavins, also known as phytoestrogens or plant estrogens. Soy also contains phytates that can bind minerals and lower their absorption from foods. If you have a reliable source of iodine, you can safely eat soy without it causing any thyroid problems. If you have subclinical hypothyroidism, this could push some people to overt hypothyroidism. So limiting soy might be a good idea if you have this. Also, if you're taking synthetic doses of the thyroid hormone and eating more soy, your dosage may be needed to be adjusted. So see your doctor about that. Soy infant formula is safe for um, babies except maybe for infants that have congenital hypothyroidism and their thyroid should be monitored in this case. Some products containing isolated soy protein are processed with hexane which may mean that hexane residues are um, in the final product. In America, if you choose foods certified as USDA organic and brands such as Tofurky, Field Roast, Wildwood, Amy's Kitchen and some Boca products, these products do not use hexane. If you know of any other products in um, any other places than the USA, please let me know in the comments below. Eating a few servings of soy per day is unlikely to result in calcium, zinc, iron or magnesium deficiency as phytates in soy can lower the absorption of these. Moderate amounts of soy doesn't cause feminine characteristics in men. If you consume more than 12 servings a day or more and if you're particularly sensitive to soy this may change. Most people would never consume that. One to two servings per day of soy will be beneficial to most people. Soybeans can be eaten in any form, such as edamame, tempeh or soy nuts. There's also soy meats and textured vegetable protein, TVP, and fermented foods such as miso, tempeh and nato, and along with the staples like soy milk and tofu. The possibilities are really endless. What's your favorite type of soy food that you like? I really, really love tempeh in particular when it's fresh and I'm in Indonesia and it's um, just fried in a little bit of coconut oil and served with a sambal sauce. Very, very good. But I also really do like tofu in pretty much just about everything. So um, I'd like to see you next week here and our next question will be, how can I organize a vegan event? Thank you for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next week. Make sure you subscribe and see vivalavegan.net for more information. Thank you.